so one tip with um with these um, airs is what we call them yeah if you can see it's a little notch so when you get this notch and then you here it just slips in here so it's like you know you can't go wrong that's just a little tip that i thought i would share with you guys And when tighten them down, you don't want to go too tight. Just want to snug them down nicely. You don't want to, you know, damage the screw or break the head off. So just tighten up. That won't be going anywhere. So, these are the options. These are the optics that we're going to be using. These are some fiber gig, fiber, 10 gig optics. Uh, we're gonna be connecting these to two of the switches. Yeah, so these are 10 gig optics. We we'll use these. I'll show you the connectors that we're actually going to use for these. But as you can see here, it's like a fiber optic connect connector. This is a um, LC connector, and it's going to go to. A, I think we're using LC to LC. But I'll show you the cables in a minute. But yeah, so this is what we're going to be using. It's going to be plugged in, so these are going to be plugged in like so. So I think we have some extra ones here. So these ones, uh, these are just the um, copper um, optics. Um, I'm not sure how much gig they are, but these are the copper ones. That's not the ones that we're going to be using right now. We're using the fiber ones. And these are the kind of cables that we'll be going to be using. So this end right here is a SC connector end. This is going to go to the other switch, and the smaller end here is the LC. This is the one that's going to be connected into that um, SFP. Uh, we're going to be using OM3 multi mode cables to connect both switches. And yeah, so I'll show you guys a little bit more as I continue to progress you with mounting these switches and wrapping them up.
switches are now um, powered on and stacked. Uh, we made sure that we can put both stack cables in to make sure it's full duplex. The power cables are too long. We're going to order some 4 feet ones and we're going to put another redundant power supply on the right side there for redundancy just in case something happens on uh, one side of the power. But yeah. So. We have two here, two uplinks. Connect another uplink here and another uplink here. These are just for these switches. And then we also have some temporary IP that we put on them just so that we can uh, configure them and get them on the system. We have us management IPs actually. And then once we actually remove these old ones and put them in production, then we will put on the correct IP. Cisco 9400 series. We just have to put one downstairs, and now I'm gonna put the other one here. Not by myself. Definitely need help with it. So today, just got done racking up those switches. That's some big beefy boys as you guys saw. So that's basically it. What I did today was, should be, I got a hard hat because this other location I came from, we're required to wear steel door boots and hard hat because some construction is going on. But other than that, that's my day. We racked some switches, configured them, patched them in with fiber, and that's about it so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace